Hello everyone, welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea. So today guys, I am super excited to be doing this reading on Taylor Swift. Um, I've been putting off her energy just because I feel like her energy can be very um, intense at times. Um, and I will explain why when I talk about her chart. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a chart reading on her and then I want to see what's in the future for her and, you know, look into her whole debacle with Katy Perry and her whole thing with, you know, um, her love life and see what's going on with that. So before I get started, I want to just let you guys know that I am not going to be available for personal readings for a minute. Um, I've been actually, uh, working a lot and work for me is going to pick up a lot more. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that if you, when you don't see the link, um, you know, I know I've already done this before where I stop readings, but readings actually for me can be very draining and I want to make sure that if I do get back into readings, I want to give you guys my best self. Like I want to give you guys my best energy. Um, I will still continue to post on my channel. So you'll still see me doing that and making videos. So I hope you guys still follow me. And if you don't, it's okay. It's fine. Um, no harsh feelings. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, guys, so, um, if you guys would love more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to thumbs up this video. That helps me a lot. Um, yeah, guys, so, I so guys, I'm gonna pull up Taylor Swift's chart. You already know the drill, um, and how my reading goes. So, basically, um, Taylor Swift's birthday is on December 13th, 1989 at 5 17 a.m. Apparently that's when they said she was born. They do say that the accuracy and time is poor, so she may not be her rising sign, but we're just going to go with it. So she is a sun in Sagittarius. She has her moon in Cancer. She has her Mercury in Capricorn. She has her Venus in Aquarius, her Mars in Scorpio, and she is apparently, we don't know for sure, a Scorpio rising. So the first thing that I feel intuitively from Taylor Swift is she is a very, very catty person. That is kind of sad to open up her video like that, but that is the first thing that I heard is I'm a very catty person. That is what her energy is saying. Now, Taylor herself doesn't feel like, of course, she's catty. Um, she feels like she's a very generously giving and accepting and non-judgmental person. And I do feel that she is, but when people double cross her, she can, as we know, she's written many songs about her exes and her friends. Um, she quickly throws people under the bus when she feels disrespected. Um, she's a very defensive person. She, um, loves wholeheartedly when she does love. She really loves very hard. Um, you know, she does have that Sagittarius energy. Sagittariuses don't always want to commit right away, but when they do commit, they are very protective and, um, they want to make sure that their partner is always seen and not always hurt, but, <laughs> um, is seen and protected and, and that they feel safe and she is very psychic she's very intuitive i feel from her having that moon in cancer and that mars in scorpio and if she is like scorpio rising well then taylor is very um intuitive another thing that i feel from her ironically enough is that she is very self-destructive um taylor will do things just to shake up the people in her circle um I'm pulling more so this is because of that Mars and that in and sorry that Mars in Scorpio and that um Sag Sun so when she gets bored you know she needs to sh you know shake things up she needs to cause a lot of um drama in her life to make sure that she feels like she has um some type of control over herself and over the people in her circle. Um, she is very catty in the sense that if she feels like she can't trust you, um, she will talk behind your back. She will say things to people that 
you know, are very just sad, like disrespectful. Um, it's kind of this energy from her, I feel, which is sometimes Scorpio energy. It's okay when I do it, but it's not okay when you do it, you know? And when she, she will find out, um, who's been talking shit about her, she'll find out who doesn't have her best interest. Um, she's someone that keeps her circle, even though you guys see Taylor moving through life with having all these friends, the truth is, is that there's very many people that really know her, that really understand her thoughts and her dark secrets and the way she kind of like moves through life. You know, it's like she doesn't like giving people the upper hand over her. Um, she's someone that's very controlling of her friends, very controlling of her, of her circle. Um, she has this very light energy about her at the same time, but that's only when she is in the mood to be that way. Um, she can make you feel so understood. She like grabs you in and just like smothers you and like holds you there. And she feels like people need to give her the same attention, the same loyalty that she feels, that she feels, that's the key word, feels, um, she gives people because, you know, she loves very deeply when she loves, she loves with her entire soul, her entire being. Um, Taylor is also a very intense person. Um, when you meet her, she does this thing where, I don't watch a lot of interviews with her, but she likes to, I mean, her eyes are already squinty, <laughs> but she likes to do this thing where she sits there and the person will be talking to her because she has a lot of people that just tell their secrets to her and um, she'll just sit there and she'll be like, hmm, wow, really? Mm-hmm. And she does this, like, squinty eye thing, which she already has naturally squinty eyes. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not coming for her eyes, but I'm saying, like, I see her squint a lot. So I don't know if anybody can tell me that, <laughs> if she squints a lot, but I'm seeing her own. Because she's literally taking in every form of information you are telling her. Um, she's caring in the sense where... If a, if a friend is in need of her, she is there. Like, she is that ride-or-die friend. But it takes her a while to let you in to her circle, to let you in to her life because she's so private. And a lot of people think that she's not because she exposes people. But guys, Mars and Scorpio... Um, Cancer, Moon, Sagittarius, they like to be in control. They like Mercury and Capricorn. So they like to be, her energy tells me, I like to be in control. I like to show people, manipulate the emotions of people um, to see what I want them to see about you. You know, so if I feel like you are a bad person, I'm going to dig into you so that I can expose that side of you. I want people to be on my side. I want people to see that you are not as honest as you are portraying yourself. And guys, my ears are ringing. My ears ring when I'm hitting the nail on the hammer with someone when I'm so in their fucking energy that I like, it feels so real, you know? Um, this is where she can get very catty. That's what I mean when I hear cattiness. Um, she brings not so good sides out of people when she doesn't like them. She um, pushes buttons, you know? And it's that Sag in her chart. Like, she'll push her buttons. She'll get that emotional reaction and she'll bounce. That Mars and Scorpio. She'll bounce. And she'll be like, told you. Knew it. You know? And this is where a lot of people feel so betrayed by her because she makes you feel so wanted she makes you feel so important 
when you're in her life, you know, but it's only for her benefit. It's only so she can have her circle of friends or she can gain what she wants. Now, you know, Taylor Swift isn't, you know, the worst person on this planet. I'm not saying that she is the devil. I'm not saying that. But she does, guys, she does like playing the devil a little bit. She likes, you know, testing the boundaries of what people will and will not accept from her. Um, and if she feels like she can't have the upper hand over you because Mars and Scorpio, they crave that power. Sagittarius energy crave control, power, dominance. So, so does her Mars and Scorpio dominance. You know, Mars is the planet, it's the masculine planet. And she has it, like I said, in Scorpio. So she likes to always feel, I can make you and I can break you. You know, I want to have that queen bee type of mentality, you know, and you know, what's interesting as I was watching Mean Girls and I love that movie. I was watching Mean Girls and uh, Rachel McAdams, who plays Regina George. I was looking at Regina's chart and she's actually a sun in Scorpio with that Mars in Scorpio. And that's what kind of I'm getting that vibe, that vibe from um, Taylor Swift. She's not a sun in Scorpio, but she might as well be because she has that Scorpio rising apparently. And she operates a lot from her Mars in Scorpio. You know, also I feel like when people meet Taylor, she's very intimidating. Like even her fans get super intimidated by her. And she feels that. She feels that instantly. She feels that people are intimidated by her. Not just because she's tall, but because she kind of uses that to her advantage too, the fact that she's so tall. Um, but she knows that she can intimidate people. She knows. And she will use that to her benefit when she needs to. Also, what I do feel from Taylor is that she will not strike immediately um kind of like a cobra that's why she had on her reputation tour she had a cobra you know she's so calculative mars and scorpio energy moon and cancer energy sag mercury her chart says to me i calculate i calculate every fucking move i make you know and when her, when kanye struck out against her she was like Ooh, it's on she's like it is time to get my feet wet this is what I crave this is the intensity that I crave when Kanye and Kim came at her oh she was all for it guys there's no need to feel bad for Taylor she was all for that shit she's all about the drama of it you know she lives for stuff like this this is what helps create her image, her persona, her career. Scorpios are very, Scorpio energy, they're very smart like this. They will turn, Sagittarius too, they will turn something so negative into something so powerful. And this is what I admire about this combination. When there's a Sagittarius with their Mars and Scorpio, it makes for a very dangerous person. Um, I personally know of this combination. Um, and you don't want to piss these people off because from Taylor's energy, she's very good at this stuff. She's very smart at what she does. She knows exactly when and where to strike. She will get you where it hurts, you know, because she's got that Mars and Scorpio, guys. This is a very powerful placement, very powerful Scorpio rising. Um, even she went up against Katy Perry. Katy Perry is a triple Scorpio. She has her sun, moon in Scorpio and I believe she has her Mercury in Scorpio um let me look at Katy Perry's chart okay wow yeah actually Katy Perry is a quadruple she's a quadruple Scorpio so she's got her Sun Moon Mercury and rising in Scorpio and Katy Perry has that ability to end someone if she wants to but Katie has evolved in the sense where she's just like, I don't want to waste my energy on that. Whereas Taylor is still young and she has, oh, I've got all of the fucking drive, all of the fucking time within my busy schedule. I will multitask because Sagittarius will do that. They'll multitask. They'll be like, I'll fucking end you 
and I'll do my career. You know, Katie is just like, she has her Mars in Capricorn. So she's just like, okay, at some point, Katie is like, I don't want to be in this mess because it affects, Capricorns are all about their image. So, okay, when it's starting to affect my image, I don't, that's where I draw back. But Taylor is smart in that way where she's like, this will make my image. This will transform me. She's all about transforming. She looks for that, that intensity to transform herself. Um, this is where she thrives. Even I'm feeling in relationships, Taylor will look for very broken, very emotional, emotionally damaged people to where she can chew them up and spit them out when she's done with them because she is looking for that next kill so she can, you know, help move her energy along, you know, and guys, I'm not coming for Taylor, you know, I know it sounds like it. But this is actually the first celebrity that I've read on, honestly, guys, where their energy is not good. You know, um, I want to see the amazing things about Taylor because she does give back. She does give to charity. She does um, do a lot of things for, you know, the community and her fans. And if someone is in dire need, she donates money. She does have a beautiful energy about her with that moon and cancer. She's very caring. But it's more so she tends to, tr to channel that negative energy um unfortunately because there is light in her there is light in her but she needs to learn to channel more of that light not the dark she focuses way too much on that dark so guys you know what do you think so far did you expect this from Taylor? I didn't. Um, but I I have no reason to hate on Taylor. I think she's a talented artist. Um, I know I'm going to get some Taylor Swift fans that are very mad. Um, but guys, I that's what her chart is telling me is that she's a very catty person. She's someone that likes to be the queen bee, apparently. I've heard two people say this um, about her. She will talk shit, you know. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and see... <clears throat> what's in store for taylor um i know she's just about to, she just got that movie cats um which is so up her alley she loves cats uh <laughs> she's very talented she knows she's very talented she's where she's worked very hard to get to where she is um she has like i said that mars and scorpio so she's used that energy to her advantage which this can be a very powerful energy if it's used right you know it's someone that could be very successful very successful because scorpio comes from the planet pluto as well which talks about bonds and you know inheritance inherit inheritance you know so she basically is good at whatever she does she's good at you know climbing the ladder she's good at social climbing she's very good at she can do it all she's sagittarius's tend to turn you know they turn gold into whatever they do they have such an expansive energy such an energy of luck you know on their side okay as i said that my faith card came out um yeah but guys as catty as she does come across at times she is someone that is very loving too she's very loving when she does embrace you when she does take you in when she does accept you into her circle but don't fuck her over she is so caring so loving and taylor loves loves to have sex she loves it um she is how do i say this She's good in the bedroom, a bit, um, but she still hasn't evolved into her sexual Mars and Scorpio energy. Um, you know, she is a little bit inexperienced as many guys as you see her dating because she tends to, she tends to attract, um, men that she, that likes, that like to dominate her. So a lot of times you know, she doesn't really know what she likes sexually all the time. You know, um, normally when I feel Mars and Scorpio energy when it comes to sex, um, it's very confident and like they know what they're doing and they can teach you a lot, you know. But with Taylor, 
it's interesting. Like, she is just now starting to come into the sexuality of feeling empowered, you know? So I don't know if, I know she dated John Mayer and he's a Capricorn, right? Um, I'm trying to figure out why it's taking her so long. Um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. I'm not bashing her for that, but it's just shocking to me because normally when I pull on Mars and Scorpios or when I do client-based readings and they have Mars and Scorpio or have a friend that has Mars and Sc I've had friends with Mars and Scorpio. Typically, they're very confident in the bedroom. They know what they're doing, but with her, it's like she is a little not sure all the time so i don't know if taylor's in a relationship right now she's always in a relationship she loves love um surprise this girl don't have venus and libra um but she i'm seeing something go on with her love life so we could see if she's not in a relationship right now she will get into one and it will be a very public relationship um all of her relationships are public but especially because she writes about them um but that's also how she gets you back but you know so I don't know guys I will look for it myself but does anyone know if she's in a relationship right now because I'm seeing something about her relationships come out so let me know guys is she in a relationship right now I'm very curious um yeah but I'm seeing that she loves love she's a very loving person she's a very caring person but to an extent it's to an extent and usually it's what can I gain from this? What can I learn from this? She looks for relationships where they transform her in some type of way. And usually when people are involved with her, it's a very transformative experience. She's also someone who loves to crack jokes. Being a Sagittarius, she tells very dark jokes where you're just like, Taylor, like, what the fuck? Like, that was rude. And she's like, uh huh okay and lighten up damn lighten up lighten up dude you know what i mean like she likes to tell really funny jokes she likes to push the boundaries of what she can and cannot joke with and she loves talking about sex she loves talking about it she is very private about it on what she does but she likes to talk about it with her very close friends she actually likes to educate them too like I think it'd be cool if you did this I think it would be cool if you switched it up so sometimes she can be inexperienced only because she's dated a lot of domineering men that don't want her to take control um, you know and she'll hold back a lot because she does have that moon in cancer but also she's starting to embrace her sexuality a lot more um, so guys that's so interesting um, I do feel like, did she just come out with an album? I feel like it's doing, it's going to do, of course, very well. This album for her, it's going to break records, like going to break records. So I don't know, guys, is she, does she have an album out right now or has, maybe it's already broken records. Um, I'm also seeing her go on tour and that's going to do very well. Um, I'm also seeing another perfume for her um, that's going to do very fucking well um anything taylor touches really turns to gold like she's so set up that way it's it's awesome to see um that about her um also i do feel more movies for her so cats is going to do very well for her it's going to propel her into more acting roles um so yeah, so guys. yeah guys um sorry about the change in lighting my camera was about to die but yeah guys that's my video on taylor swift let me know what you guys think um it was a very ugh, negative one so um but i think as an uh, you know as an empath and as an astrologer it is important for me to be honest you know with you guys and you know i do feel like taylor does have a good heart but she channels more of that negative energy unfortunately um so yeah it's sad it's sad she needs to you know evolve more she needs to grow more in her energy and make sure that you know she's not just doing things for her own personal gain um so hopefully if i wait on her years from now her energy will will have changed um so let me know what you guys think about this video um not saying that taylor is a horrible horrible person um she just needs to operate from a higher energy um that's all that's all i mean you know but i still rock to her music love her music she's super talented um but i just hope that she learns to channel more of a positive energy when dealing with people and when dealing with herself and 
loving herself a lot more, embracing more of her sexuality because through there she'll be more transformed. Um, she's stuck in this negative Scorpio Mars energy. Um, so hopefully that changes in the near future. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video on Taylor Swift. Again, I apologize for it being so negative. Um, I have to be honest, you know what I mean? So again, I hope you guys love the video. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Once again, I am closed for personal readings for now. Um, and uh, would really appreciate it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Has anybody met Taylor, Taylor Swift? I feel like she's really nice to her fans, but she's so like double-sided like that. Like, ugh. anyway, guys, <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and sound off, you know? I hope you have a good day or night. Love and light. Bye, guys.